Good morning, my dear students. Hope all of you are well. And welcome to the chemistry class. Today I will continue this chapter atmospheric pollution. Previous video, in my previous video I discussed about the acid rain. Today I will discuss, okay, global warming. All of you know this term global warming. Okay, every day uh, from suns, okay, heat and light energy is reaching to the earth surface. So earth surface is heated, okay, and there are uh, different types of gases like carbon dioxide gas, methane gas, nitrous oxide, chlorofluorocarbons, ozone gas, water vapor. These gases traps heat and even in night also when there is no sun, okay, these gases, okay, okay, or this absorb heat increases the earth's temperature and each called, this is called greenhouse effect and this temperature is called green uh, sorry, this uh, this this uh, uh, this is called greenhouse effect, and this is the cause of global warming. Okay, and because of this greenhouse effect, there will be global warming. Now, greenhouse. What is the meaning of greenhouse? Green means one color, green color. Okay, but here green is indicating plant, and that house is a particular type of house. Okay, and the um, House is made of glass. Okay. In the cold countries or colder region where temperature is very low. So this type of glass houses we are using to grow green plants. That is why it is named as greenhouse. Okay. And uh, inside the greenhouse there will be carbon dioxide gas. Okay. And uh, when sun ray will pass through this, uh, uh, this glass. That means this glass allow only the uh, shorter wavelength radiation uh, coming from the sun, sun, okay, but do not allow the passage of longer uh, wavelengths, okay, or longer IR radiation or heat radiation, okay, as a result, inside gases, okay, will trap the heat that IR radiation, especially the carbon dioxide gas, okay, and um, other gases also may do, okay, uh, and uh, increases the uh, temperature, okay, inside that room, particular glass rooms okay and that helps uh, in the uh, uh, helps to grow the plant okay green plants okay so this is the greenhouse this is called greenhouse okay and uh, earth is also like greenhouse okay because this carbon dioxide nitrous oxide deep CFC all are there they are trapping heat and making the maintaining the warmth of the earth okay that is why this is called greenhouse effect okay this is and this causes the global warming that means increasing the temperature of the earth okay next greenhouse gases and their contribution or percentage uh, towards the global warming so here you see that uh, i have written here that uh, carbon dioxide is contributing 50 percent to the global warming Methane is contributing 19%. CFC is chlorofluorocarbons, they are contributing 17%. Ozone is contributing 8%. And uh, nitrous oxide is contributing 4%. And because of water vapor, water vapor also can trap in the amount of heat that uh, is contributing to the global warming. Okay, 2%. Next, we will discuss the sources of this type of greenhouse gases carbon dioxide you know if you burn anything like fossil fuel it will produce carbon dioxide gas and gases are coming out from industry also uh, because of different types of combustion processes it will form carbon dioxide gas okay biological decay of plants animals plants respiration also produce carbon dioxide carbon dioxide also come out from vehicles whatever vehicles we are using in their day to day life um, and uh, from thermal power plant, okay, like Kolaghat, there is thermal power plant, there it is producing huge amount of carbon dioxide. Okay, next is uh, we we'll discuss water vapor. Okay, water vapor 
uh, also coming from the uh, different sources of water like uh, river, like lake, pond, sea. Okay, because of sun's ray, okay, heating this uh, water, okay, and um, that heat energy, because of this heat energy, water vapor is forming and it is uh, uh, coming to the earth atmosphere. Right? Next, oxides of nitrogen. From industry, from automobiles, from thermal power plants, okay, that means uh, all fossil fuels, okay, whenever you are burning, definitely there is nitrogen that will produce the different <coughs> oxides of nitrogen, that is <laughs> nitrogen dioxide and nitric oxide, okay. Next we will discuss methane. Methane will be emitted in the large quantities during uh, uh, aerobic uh, decomposition, anaerobic decomposition of different types of organic matter, okay, uh, matter and there may be decomposition of um, uh, vegetable matter, there may be decomposition of soil or sediment etc. that will uh, produce methane gas, okay. Any organic matter, okay, in the damp uh, places, okay, that is also uh, forming methane gas. Next, we will discuss about the mechanism of greenhouse gases. There are mainly three types of radiation, okay, in the sunlight. One is ultraviolet, another is visible radiation and another is infrared radiation, that is called IR radiation. Ultraviolet, in short, it is called UV radiation. Uh, visible uh, radiation, then another IR or infrared radiation. And if you look at the uh, um, wavelength, okay, ultraviolet wavelength will be 1 nanometer to 400 nanometer, you know 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter. And if you think about the uh, visible uh, radiation that will be 400 to 400 nanometer to 800 or 750 nanometer and if you think about that IR radiation it will be 25 micron meter to 2.5 micron meter okay so these rays are generally present okay in the sun rays it is coming on that and UV rays maximum UV rays of the sun is absorbed by the ozone gas present in the ozone layer and uh, very little is coming okay and if there is ozone hole, then um, sufficient amount of uh, ultraviolet ray will come, okay. And these ozone gases, uh, these ultraviolet rays are very dangerous. It, it can cause skin cancer, it can cause um, eye cataract, different types of problems will be generated. Hope you can understand what I am telling you, okay. And whatever IR rays are coming, 30% radiation actually reaches to the earth surface. And the surface of the um, earth, that means the temperature of the um, earth surface increases. Okay. Some IR radiations are absorbed by carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide gas is a very good IR absorber, IR radiation absorber. And to make the earth hot. Okay. If the concentration of carbon dioxide becomes double, whatever concentration is there, if you make it double, then the atmospheric temperature of the, the atmospheric temperature will increase by 1.9 degree centigrade, near about 2 degree centigrade will increase. Next, we will discuss the advantages of greenhouse effects. Now, greenhouse effect plays a very significant role in the evolution of life on Earth. Without these gases, okay, the Earth's temperature, okay, uh, that whatever it is maintaining, now it is uh, uh, 15 or something is there. Okay, but in the uh, summer season it will be around 25 to 35 degree centigrade, so that will be maintained, okay, because of these greenhouse gases, understood? And if uh, there was no greenhouse gases, then what will happen, all the heat is coming, that will reflect back to the space, and uh, uh, in this way, uh, the, the, in the night, okay, when there is no sun, uh, temperature will reach to minus, okay. It may be minus 70 or minus 80, like moon, okay. And then it, uh, it will be very difficult to survive the li lives of animals and plants. So that means uh, there will be no, uh, uh, that, that condition is not suitable, okay, for the um, uh, evolution of life. Understand what I am telling? So that is the advantage, that is the advantage of the greenhouse gas. Okay, next we will discuss. Uh, another advantage that these greenhouse gases are also required 
for evaporation of water. Okay. Uh, actually, these greenhouse gases are warming the uh, earth. Okay, and maintaining the temperature and because of this temperature, okay, water uh, evaporated both in the daytime as well as in the night. Okay, and as a result, clouds are formed and uh, systematically um, rains are also coming. Okay, so if there is no water vapor, there will be no formation of cloud, and there will be no rain. Then there will be difficult. Uh, it will be difficult for our for survive our lives, there will be no uh, cultivation, okay, then there will be problem. And if the amount of carbon dioxide gas and other greenhouse gases are increased day by day, then the earth's temperature, surface temperature will increase and definitely uh, this global warming, okay, will cause a big problem to us. Now we will discuss the effects of global warming, first there will be climate change, okay, because of global warming, the increase of earth's temperatures can cause uh, uh, less rainfall in some places and uh, in some places there will be high rainfall okay and definitely because of this global warming there will be rise in the water level in sea okay glacier polar ice cap okay uh, will melt and because of global warming and uh, it will increase the water level of the sea and scientists already predicted that if uh, global warming continues and increases uh, the carbon dioxide gas day by day, then the lands uh, near the sea will go under the water. Global warming also increases the uh, incidence uh, uh, of infection disease such as malaria, dengue, yellow fever, etc. Now, in this pandemic situation, that COVID situation, okay, that means. Uh, covid virus uh, coronavirus okay okay come out of coronavirus and now different variants are coming okay this is also because maybe because of this global warming okay next we can tell that change in the uh, rain pattern also cause the de uh, destruction of the forest okay scientists reported that if we increase uh, in this way the carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere uh, uh, continuously then the earth atmosphere uh, will increase will increase 3 degrees centigrade up to 3 degrees centigrade uh, whatever temperature is there now okay this average temperature will increase 3 degrees centigrade by the year 2050 next i will discuss the uh, last uh, topic of this uh, or last point uh, of this global warming that how to control how to reduce the greenhouse gases first we have to use uh, we have to less use or minimize the use of automobiles that means vehicles cars buses okay etc okay uh, we have to use public transports if possible we can use bicycle or if possible we can walk also that will be good for our health also okay you have to plant more trees and you have to uh, make that environment environment day environmental day we have to plant trees and uh, different types of bonomos of uh, celebration you have to do okay for planting trees and you have to avoid uh, that burning of dry leaves okay in many places that people are burning leaves okay and burning papers plastics woods okay and uh, for cooking purpose you should not use that wood or other things okay better you use uh, compressed natural gas okay there will be less pollution and there will be less uh, global warming or greenhouse gases and avoid smoking and uh, make awareness about the uh, global warming to the people and you can reduce reuse and recycle of plastic because plastics whatever we are using at polythene bag they are not biodegradable so we have to burn it that will uh, cause carbon dioxide uh, increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. Replace your uh, bulb, okay, that means ordinary bulb, what is there, there is uh, uh, giving more heat to the atmospheres by CFL bulbs or you can use lead bulbs. And switch off vehicles and at the traffic signal, you have to use that solar energies, okay, or solar system for lightning purpose, for heating purpose, okay, solar cooker is there, you know, and solar light is also there. Okay, you can use biogases and cookers 
and uh, the, you have to reduce the use of the air conditions from which that uh, chlorofluorocarbons gas are coming. Okay, so in this way today I have completed the global warming. Okay, so thank you for watching.